I love you. Don't you? Who the hell are you? Um, you play Camila Salander, Elizabeth's uh, twin sister. What can we expect from your character and your relationship with, with, with her, with Elizabeth? Um, <laughs> it's a difficult without question to answer giving without giving anything away. Um, I think she shares a very intriguing past um, with her sister Elizabeth and I think there couldn't have been any other way than Camilla coming back into Elizabeth's life. I think they both, in a way, need to be confronted with that past. And I think Camilla is someone, especially as a young girl, that was very loyal and looked up to her sister very much and loved her sister very much. And she got hurt in a way that that she, she can't unfeel those feelings and she has to see Lisbeth to, to reunite and to, to get some closure. How was working with Claire Foy in that, you know, developing that intense uh, familial bond between the two characters? It was wonderful. I think as an actress, she's a very, very strong actress, very talented, and it's so exciting to see her go from Queen Elizabeth to Lisbeth Salander. Mm -hmm. uh, shows quite a range and I think, you know, she, um, she's a strong person that, you know, will go for what's, you know, the best way of telling the story. And she's very respectful of her other, of other actors in the film, and I really loved working with her. It's wonderful. Um, you were spectacular as, as love in Blade Runner oh, 2049. Uh, does Camilla have, without giving away too much again, <laughs> does Camilla have action scenes as well, something challenging in that sense? Different. I would say it's different. Um, I think you could describe Camilla much more as a... When we tried to find the character and Fede and me, Fede and I collaborated on finding the look for the character, we really were looking for a spiritual, ethereal, but also angelic but ill kind of person all put together in one mix. Um, and that's how we came about the silver, silvery hair and the bleached eyebrows and the very pale look. But she is also someone that comes into Lisbeth's life and kind of brings back the heartbeat into the story. And that's why uh, the, bl the, 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 the red suit comes in. And I think with that whole look, um, she's another color that comes into the movie and a very interesting, intriguing character mm -hmm. to play. Um, the, the film seems to speak directly to the Me Too, Time's Up movement right now. What do you think that the, the message, uh, what do you think the message uh, that will the, the audience get from, get from the movie? Well, to me, growing up as a young woman, Lisbeth Salander always was one of the feminists on screen. She was kind of ahead of our time. She was already fighting for women in difficult situations. Um, being a voice for them and I think you know she continues on that path she has in this film I think one of the biggest challenges of her life uh, and it makes her reunite with Blomquist in the film mm -hmm. and um, it confronts her with her past did you read the, the books before Were you a I fan? did and I love the films I loved Rooney Mara and Numi Rapaz yeah. in um, both those um, different versions yeah. Uh, I think they created a fantastic character, yeah. Why is it this bit? Why is it spiders don't get stuck in their own webs?